Readers and collectors of 2022, bag and board your comics. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, bagging and boarding would be it. The long-term benefits of bagging and boarding your comics have been proved by archivists everywhere, whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own collecting experience. I will dispense that advice now. Enjoy the fun and wacky comics of your youth. Or, never mind, you will not understand the joy and excitement of those comics until you've become jaded. But trust me, in 20 years, you'll look back at the comics of today and recall in a way that you can't grasp now how much optimism there was within those pages and how amazing they truly were. They are not as silly as you imagined. Don't worry about their future value. Or worry, but know that worrying is effective as trying to understand a Grant Morrison comic. The real valuable comics are those that have stories that stay with you for a lifetime. The kind you read under your covers with a flashlight on some idle Friday nights. Collect one book from an independent company. Aftershock. Don't belittle other people's favorite titles. Don't put up with those that belittle yours. Remember the comics you love. Forget the bad ones. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your signed comics. Throw away your receipts. Organize. Don't feel guilty if you don't know Marvel from DC. The most interesting collectors and readers I know didn't know DC from Marvel at 13. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds still don't. Get plenty of short boxes. Be kind to your back. You'll need it when you move. Maybe you'll grade your books. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll sell. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll lose half your collection in a divorce or pass it along to your children. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much on your purchases or berate yourself. Your purchases are half chance. So are everyone else's. Enjoy your books. Read them every chance you get. Don't be afraid to do so or what other people think of them. It's one of the greatest assets you'll ever own. Collect, even if you can only do so online because you don't have an LCS. Read previews, even if you don't order anything. Do not read speculator websites. They will only make you think you're collecting incorrectly. Get to know the golden age. You never know what untapped optimism resides there. Be nice to your LCS. They're your best avenue to finding a great new title and most likely to buy your collection from you later. Understand that books will come and books will go, but for the precious few, you should truly hold on to. Work hard to fill the gaps in your collection because the older you get, the more difficult it will become to do so. Collect Batman once, but stop before it makes you hard. Collect Superman once, but stop before it makes you soft. Visit different LCSs. Accept certain inalienable truths. First appearances will sell out. YouTube personalities will pump and dump. You too will collect differently. When you do, you will fantasize first appearances were plentiful and YouTube personalities actually read comics. Read your comics. Read your comics. Don't expect anyone else to support your hobby. Maybe you'll have an amazing Fantasy 15. Maybe you'll have an amazing Spider-Man 792. You'll never know when speculators won't care. Don't overclean and press your books, or by the 10th time you do, it'll look like it's from 1845. Be careful who's collecting advice you buy, and be skeptical of those who supply it. Collecting advice is a form of religion. Dispensing it is a way of growing the flock, and growing the amount of believers, raising the price of a book. But trust me on the bagging and boarding.